Start again. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Although, as, me as many of you have said to me as you arrived, I don't know what's good about it. This is really miserable weather, isn't it, today? It's great that we come. The good thing is we come together and um, to Frozen together, so welcome to you all. Um, just to say from the beginning, thank you for continuing to wear face masks. We had quite a lengthy discussion at PCC about if it was time to, you know, make those well, optional, but in many ways we're not enforcing it anyway. But PCC felt with the rising numbers in the area, we did still encourage people to wear face masks in building and still to take lateral flow tests if you're able to um, before a service. You still not coming through? No. Completely lost where we were up to now. I was saying about face masks, so thank you. Please just use your common sense and consider other people as well as what's comfortable for you. Welcome also to those of you who are joining us online. We're going to be sharing in communion later, so you might want to have some bread and wine um, ready to join in with us. And just to say to you all that we do film the service. It doesn't go out live later on. It would be posted on YouTube. So do let me know if there's any problem for you with that. Today we celebrate the Feast of All Saints, when we remember how we are connected to Christians both past and present and across the world today. And it links in well with the series we've been doing on our vision statements. There are still bookmarks at the back if you'd like to pick one up to take away to remind you. Today we're focusing on the priority we identified about making connections, being connected with one another and with people in our community. It feels quite a painful theme in some ways at this time when, of course, we still feel a bit disconnected. We haven't properly yet gathered back for worship in the building and we're gradually doing things step at a time, aren't we? But a great symbol of that is the banner that we have up on the wall. I'm sure many of you have noticed it as you came in today, new for St Mary's. So this banner was the idea of Catherine very early on in lockdown last year. Um, and the idea was that within our own homes, we would sow a green square or decorate whatever, em embellish a square, saying something about our faith and that wanting to remain connected with the idea that then they all got brought together. So that's sort of a picture of the church in lockdown. Um, and I'm really grateful to Pam, who's worked hard bringing it all together and other people who've contributed to that, I know, too. And I think it's just stunning. So do take some time to go and have a look at all the, the different contributions that there are there. Um, so lovely to have it in that place. So thank you very much for doing that, Pam. It's great that it could be up for this weekend. We've had a series of events this weekend, all to mark all saints and all souls. So you might want to add to the memorial that's outside. I think you've put in the porch now, haven't you, with this heavy rain. There's some hearts and Sharpie pens, wooden hearts, and you can write on the name of any loved one that you want to remember who has died and then string it on along the hedge and we're gradually building a, a memorial of remembrance. That will remain in place there until November the 13th when we will prayerfully um, remove it. Last night we had the concert of the music to remember, which I really enjoyed. And then this afternoon we have a bereavement service. Again, an opportunity to remember loved ones who have died, to light a candle and to name them in the prayers. So there are still spaces for that service, but you need to book a place. So please talk to me if you would like to come. I think that's it on notices. So we're ready to begin our celebration of the Feast of All Saints. Normally at this time I would invite you to stand, but I can't because then some of you may not be able to see the screen. We are applying for a faculty for that to be up on the wall eventually, which will make things a bit easier. Um, just to say for now, if you do struggle to see, there are one or two paper copies at the back of church. So just wave at Fiona and she'll find one for you. She's looking worried now. They're there somewhere, Fiona. <laughs> And so we join in then with our opening prayer. We stand before the throne of God with countless crowds from every nation and race, tribe and language. Blessing and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honour, power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Faithful one whose word is life, Come with saving power to free our praise, inspire our prayer, and shape our lives for the kingdom of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
During our first term, children and young people are invited to leave us to go out to your groups. And so we're just, I'm just going to say a prayer for you now. So Lord, as we thank you as we gather today for in all different ages and stages of faith. And we pray for our children and our leaders as they go off to their groups that they too would know your presence with them and learn something of that connection that we have with you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.